In our previous video lessons, we have created a database and we have imported a spreadsheet into a database as a table. So now it's time to look at SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. And SQL is the way in which other programs access and modify data in a relational database. There are a large variety of different versions of SQL but they all follow the basic principles. I have opened the database called CD Database which we've used in other videos and it's available on the website and this database has a single table called CD Table. Double clicking on it brings up this data sheet view. Now if we talk about this database for a moment, as a matter of fact this table, then we'll see that there's a artist field and a CD name field and genre etc. And here's replacement value. Now if we wanted to out of all these records and let's go and look and you can see down here there's 250 if I scroll down there are 250 elements in this database so this is rather difficult to sort it out by hand. But for instance if we wanted to extract from this database all those CD names of which the genre is pop or jazz then we would have to create a query. So let's start by doing this and we are going to do our queries using SQL but more of that a little bit later. To create a new query I click on the create tab and query design a window pops up down below here and it lists all the tables in this database and of course there's only one so that's why there's only one shown. Click on add because this table is the one that I want to extract data from. It's the one that I want to query. So click on add and it places that table structure over here. I don't want anything else so that's where we start. And now I'm going to just click on one of the fields. As a matter of fact let's double click on it and you will see it is placed here in the field list of my query. I think it's time to save my query and I do this by clicking on the picture of the disk up top there. Let's call this query genre. Click on OK. Now I see a pop-up and we want to go and look at data sheet view. So you can see that this is the result of my query. My query genre has produced out of the table only the artists. And now it's time to see your first SQL code. Click on this view again and once again the pop-up appears and I have the option down here of SQL view. And this is your first SQL query. Look at what it says. Select cdtable.artist from cdtable. So it indicates which table to use and then which field to use. So let's rub it out for the moment and write our own. So if we were to start writing an SQL query we would do the select query. It's the query I use to extract data from the table. So select is the first word and I want all the fields star from cd underscore table and let's go and view it. View data sheet view. So once again this shows me the whole cd table just as if it wasn't a query producing the result but the table itself. So let's talk a little bit about an SQL statement. An SQL statement is the way in which SQL queries, in other words, asks questions of the table or the database, as well as changes the database, in other words, updates the database. SQL can be used from inside, the way we are doing it now, or from a, another program like Java or Delphi. This is true, different versions of SQL may return slightly different results, but generally we get past them and get to know the differences in the different programs. Capital or small letters don't matter, but spelling and spacing does. So in Microsoft Access, which is typically the database we are going to use, we use a query to search or extract data from a table in a database on specified criteria. So actually this is not just a query, it's a select query that we use so that we can extract because we can also change the database. And here are the types of queries. An accessor query and a mutator query. The accessor one is the one that I use to query the database or to extract only certain data, 
that follows or that adheres to a set of criteria. And a mutator query is, of course, the ones that changes the data in the database. And there are three of them, and here they are. By the way, you must know how to write SQL queries, both for your practical PAT next year, as well as this year, and, of course, in the theory exams as well. Now, let's just go back and recap quickly. This result, the table sheet view, is the result of query genre. And query genre, we've written SQL code for, and we see it under view, SQL view. And there's the SQL code to produce all the fields from the CD table. Now, if I double-click on the table itself, we see that it does have artist, CD name, genre, replacement value, all of those. So let's select only some of the fields and not all of them. By the way, look at this little button over here. That allows me to show all tables or any of the other elements that are part of our database. And we've saved our query, so our query and this table is now part of our database. So if I double-click on the query and I go to View, SQL View, now I have the option of writing a new query so that I show only some of the fields. So select and which are the fields I want to show? Well I've forgotten them already so table has artist and genre. So let's say select artist comma genre from CD table. Run this, go to data sheet view and now you can see that we've listed only two of the fields of this table. Let's go back to the SQL view and play with it some more. So we can change it so that it's artist and genre. And what is the last field's name? It is replacement value. Let's run our query and see what it does. So now it shows me only three of the different fields in the CD table. So here are some exercises for us to do. Display the title and genre of all CDs. I think we've done that one already. No, we haven't done title, so let's go and do it. So in my query, we go to design view, not design view, SQL view. And we say select, and what does that one say? Title and genre. Title, comma, genre from CD table. It's not title, it's CD name. So title should be cd underscore name run my query again data sheet view and there we go so now we have done display the title and genre of all cds so our second one would be display the number of songs and the artists of all cds but if you look at my table then the number of songs doesn't appear here so let's change that query and rather make that the replacement value and the artists of all CDs. So let's go back to the database and now we would write select replacement value comma artist from CD table. We don't have to spell that as like that. That's better. Run my query and there we get 250 records of replacement value and artist only for every CD.